so yesterday we started discussion on toggle or breakpoint sorry uh, now in today's session we need to discuss about the concept of toggle or breakpoint so i hope everyone everyone is having an idea on the process of debugging but let me explain you what is mean by debugging so that you'll have some clear picture on how uh, this toggle or break, breakpoint works okay so debugging is a process of finding the root cause of the defect is nothing but debugging so by using source code or programs what developers have written finding out the root cause of the defect what you have how the data going so what's that uh, question Sri Lanka? I means i didn't get you what's the date how the data going means what data you are asking i'm not uh, getting this question yes oh okay okay you, you are saying right so where it's stored where it's stored okay okay fine so uh, let me explain you in this way so that you can understand it very easily suppose one developer is there so that developer is uh, developing a program in order to implement and in order to implement a functionality so that program is having uh, around uh, thousand lines of code okay the program is having thousand lines of code so that program has been executed successfully in the development environment and they are going to host the same application into the server and they are going to send the url to the testing team okay now the testing team go is going to start working or testing on that particular application and when testing when testing team is testing in multiple scenarios they are going to face an error what but you are going to perform immediately what you are going to do immediately when you once you get the defect you are going to log the defect right you are going to log the defect so once you log the defect what what is the next step the developer is going to perform in the next immediate step the developer is going to find out the root cause of that particular issue so where he is going to find out the root cause of that issue so any idea through programs we can say right yes from where developer is going to find out the root cause of the issue means whatever the program that you have been uh, working that he has been working on and uh, whatever the issue or whatever the defect that you have been uh, raised based on the defect and based on the functionality developer is going to analyze why that why this defect has been raised right suppose if that thousand lines of code is there and developer is trying to execute that thousand lines of code at a time what will happen error will come defect will come in the development environment even defect will come in the development environment even at that point of time developer don't know from which line or from which part of code that particular defect is causing to that functionality are you getting my point guys do you if you have any confusions or questions when i am explaining please stop me there itself so that i'll explain you from starting onwards okay now developer is having thousand lines of code in order to in order to find out the root cause of that particular defect he is going to debug that thousand lines of code means debugging is the way that developer has to uh, execute thousand lines of code no in order to find out the perfect root cause of that particular defect he is going to divide the program into multiple parts the developer is going to divide the program into multiple parts this multiple parts is not having any limit it's all about the uh, developer understanding skills how he is going to understand when they are going to divide the program once the program has been divided they are going to execute the different different parts of the program so that they are going to identify this particular issue easily here the division of that particular program will be happened by using this toggle or break 
point contact. Are you getting my point, guys? Any questions in this debugging process? Simply we can say the definition for this toggle or break point is setting up a point where to where you want to execute the script. Suppose you have 10 lines of code here in this. I want to execute only five lines of code, five uh, top five lines of code. Then if I put toggle or break point at fifth line, session break point, session break point, toggle means session break point. Uh, in some cases, we can say that uh, Srilata. So session breakpoint is some. I, I I hope I think session breakpoint is completely a different different concept. What you are thinking? Maybe my assumption or my way of receiving this concept is different. I am thinking, but session breakpoint is related to the concept what you are, what we are talking about now. Okay. So that is what I am saying. Suppose if I have designed a script which is having ten lines of code here, I want to execute only. Uh, I want to execute till fifth line only. Means first, second, third, fourth, fifth lines. I want to execute. If I want to execute till fifth line, make sure that you are going to provide breakpoint at the fifth line. If you click on run button, automatically it will execute up to fifth line only. After that, it will not execute. Understand? We we will see that in a practical way. Set or clear start point. Suppose a program is there in this Selenium IDE. I have 20 or 30 lines of code, but I want to start execution from fifth line. I want to start execution from fifth line. First five lines I don't want to execute. From next line onwards, I want to execute then you can say set or clear start point means at that particular point of time at that particular point of step it is going to start execution pass a resume if execution is is going on if you want to pass that execution you can use that one if you want to resume the execution you can use this option step step here suppose i want to execute the script in a step by step means there are 10 steps first i want to execute first second i want to execute second third i want to execute third like that if you want to have the step by step execution then you can use the option step execute this command means you want to execute only specific command you want to execute only specific command which is nothing but execute this command fastest faster slower Slowest. These four four options are nothing but the execution speed, fast or slow mode. Understand? The shortcut will be here. Fast, slow. Here you have fast, and here you have slow. Okay. Next, options menu. In the options menu, you are going to have different different options here. Under this options menu, you have one more sub, sub sub menu called options here. Once you click on that, you are going to have Selenium IDE options, general formats, plugins, locator builders, web driver, etc. etc. Here, my suggestion will be don't change any options in Selenium IDE. Whatever the default options that you are seeing here, leave that options like that only. But Whatever the required options, we will discuss about that required options. So under this general UTF-8, encoding of te test files UTF-8 is nothing but whatever the files or whatever the script that you are designing, by default that will be, this, uh, that will be saved in HTML format. That HTML format, if they are going to have any data into this application, they are going to maintain some default version, which is nothing but UTF-8 is the default version. But I, I am saying it very simply, but this UTF-8 version impact will be more in uh, in a normal case. Let's say for example, uh, you are going to pass the data through XML file. You are going to pass the data through XML file. If you want to pass the data through XML file, that version should be UTF-8 only. 
Understand? Next one. Default timeout value of recorded command in milliseconds is 30,000 milliseconds they have given. Indirectly, they are saying 30,000, sorry, 30 seconds they are saying. What is this default timeout option? Any idea or any guess? Okay. So this default timeout option is nothing but suppose you are trying to load an URL or you are going to, or you are, or you are trying to uh, access one URL. Suppose to load that complete URL, if system took greater than 30 seconds, what will happen? Means the system is having poor performance, very poor performance, we can say. But if system loads less than 30 seconds, is it a good performance? I'll say no for this also. Why? Because every system should have max to max three seconds should be the response time means if you want if you are sending data to if you are entering some data and if you are clicking on submit button automatically system will generate one registration id and password on your screen for that particular process once you click on submit and you are going to get the data that process should complete within three seconds only that is that is how the default expected time will be but here for our reference, we have given 30 seconds. Means within this 30 seconds, if the application loads successfully, then script will be passed. If not, the script will be failed. If not, the script will be failed. So any questions? Any questions, guys? Okay. So next thing. Selenium core extensions or Selenium ID extensions, these will not be used in our regular sessions, means uh, in our real time even. So if you want, you can have Google it and if you have any questions, you can just ask me so that we will explain that. And here the remaining checkboxes like remember base URL, record asset title automatically like that. All these are the options what the Selenium ID is going to have. Remember base URL is simply we can say, when you are uh, recording the script, it is going to remember the URL. Start recording immediately on open. So here, if I check this option, what it means means by default recording option will be enabled. If I uncheck this one, recording option will be disabled. See here, I uncheck this one and I am clicking on OK. And I am going to close this browser, close this ID. Now I am going to open the same Selenium ID. Did you find any difference? Did you find any difference? Yesterday we saw that by default it will be in a recording mode. In today's session, now it is not there. Why? Because it's all about in our hands only. We can we can make sure that we can put some options on that and we can use the same thing here. Okay? If you want to reset the options, just you can click on reset the options. And next thing, formats. As I said, Whatever the script that you are going to design, that will be in a HTML format by default. If you want to change the format, you'll have multiple formats here. C Sharp, C Sharp N Unit Web Driver, Remote Control, Java J Unit, SNG, Java J Unit for like that different different programming languages are there. You can you can keep any programming language, but my suggestion will be again here. You can go with HTML only. That will be very easy for you to understand in order to uh, if you if you want to analyze the script if you want to add something you can just click on add and you can have that one if you want to reset the option reset the options plugins are there any extra plugins available for this selenium ide if there are any extra plugins that will be displayed in this window and just you can have that add into this particular pane so that that add uh, plugins will be added into your selenium ide locators or builders ui link name css something something here whatever the locator names that you are seeing here that will not be a part of uh, that will not be a part of selenium all these things are the part of your html page your part of html page these are nothing but just backend names that are going to that are going to be assigned to every field on the web page. 
so for example you have a registration page where you are going to enter your first name last name date of birth like the different different names different different fields will be there suppose a field may have id xpath css name all the list here a field, a field may be associated with all type of locator names or a field may be associated with any one of this locator name but remember that so whatever the locators that you are going to see here that locators will be the target value here in this window the target we will see that one once this part is completed okay now web driver if you want to point this selenium web driver to your uh, selenium id to your web driver you have this option enable web driver playback so it will it will have an access with your selenium web driver and it will play the scripts based on the web driver content what you have and under this options menu we have format again so already we have seen this format in options menu clipboard format so this options may, uh, format menu will be navigated to url related to that format so no need to worry about that there is no use of this format in our recording part or execution part clipboard format these are the list of programming languages supported by selenium ide reset ide window if you want to reset all the options just you will have reset ide window if you want to clear the history just you will have three types of things here base url history recent test cases recent test everything will be cleared based on the selection schedule test to run periodically again the same option is repeated here schedule test to run periodically means this is all about user flexibility in terms we can say if you click on this also automatically it will open like this understand help is nothing but it's all about documentation official blog if you want to report issue if you want to see any already reported issues and all those things will be displayed in okay. this help menu this help menu now let us have let us have some um, basic script designing part here okay so till now any questions guys do you have any questions no questions what is the use of web driver okay under this options this one web driver right this is what you are asking in options format web driver what is the use of web driver so here starting from our demo session we are we are saying that selenium is having four set of tools one is ide rc web driver and grid here what is the relationship between between selenium ide and selenium grid uh, sorry selenium ide and selenium web driver right here the the main link between selenium ide and selenium web driver here is the locators the locators suppose let's say for example a login page is there in the login page you are going to see the name username password and login button in the front end you are going to see these three these three values like username password and login button okay now now if i want to automate such type of things what i need to have in selenium web driver because uh, we are not going to deal with selenium web driver in our regular session but uh, whatever the things that i am explaining now that will be a part of selenium uh, simple selenium 
So no need to concentrate more on locators or builders for, uh, as part of Cucumber. Due to that reason, I am not saying in detail concept of uh, locators or builders. If I explain this concept, you will get confusion. But let me explain you in a brief way so that you will understand what is the link between Selenium ID and WebDriver. Okay. Okay, fine. This is the home page or login page where I am going, where we are going to see the username, password, and login button. So remember that I am talking about locator or element here, locator builder concept here. Okay, so but this concept will not be used in your scripting language, but I am I am trying to explain you what is the link between Selenium IDE and WebDriver here. So generally in Selenium WebDriver, when we are designing the automation test scripts using Java programming language, we have a concept known as locators or elements. What is mean by locator or element? The value which will be designed by the UI team in order to find out the particular name of the element from the backend. Suppose here you are seeing username this is the field where you are going to enter some data right in the front end you are and you are going to understand it very easily but in the back end system will never understand what you are going to see what you are seeing on the screen means system don't know what is mean by this username what is mean by this password what is this login button what is this home page System can't understand what you are going to see in this particular screen. But only thing that system understands here is the coding part, what the designers and developers are being performed. Understand? Now, here, this username field will have one name and this password field will have one name in the backend. How can we identify this username and password fields from the backend? This is your next question. I'll show it to you how to find out this thing. But one point here is every field will be associated with at least one locator or element. Every field will be associated with at least one locator or element. Okay. Now I'll show it to you how to identify that element name. So here, this is the username and this is the password this is the username and this is the password i want to know the element name of this particular username field now if i want to know that thing right click on that but place the cursor in the field right click on the field just click on inspect element now what is the thing that you are seeing here you are seeing this has been highlighted input size is equals to 20 name is equals to username max length is equals to 60 right you are observing the same thing see here now means this particular username field is having a term or locator which is nothing but name here which is nothing but name here the name is user name here u is a small case n is uppercase see it is a case sensitive understand now is there same locator name in the selenium ide yes you have you have the same locator name here this is what there is a link this is what there's the, it creates a link between selenium ide and selenium web driver not only name you, you may have id you may have link you may have xpath you may have dom css anything is any any one of this 
particular locator will be associated to each and every element by using these names only we are going to design automation scripts in selenium web driver suppose suppose one more case is there here a company or a developer who are not following coding standards they are going to develop this login page with same you same locator name for username field same locator name for password field at that point of time script will not understand to which field you are passing data to which field you are passing data due to that reason we are going to use selenium ide in order to get the unique locator name and to create the link between web driver and selenium ide i hope everyone everyone is understanding the concept what i am saying right any questions till now this is what the answer for uh, with just question i think so so in the options format web driver what is the link between uh, uh, what is the link between ide and web driver this is what the answer will be so in selenium web driver we are going to automate by using locators only if there are multi duplicate locators in uh, in the browser then it is highly complicated to find out that locator's name locator name through selenium web driver due to that reason we are going to record the script in selenium ide automatically it will find out the unique element names from the selenium ide window okay so any questions no nope. is everything fine okay now let us design one script in selenium ide so that you will get at least one uh, picture what we are going to do here okay so for our what happens when we don't have any locators so in what case means means what happen when we don't have locators means you are talking about development environment or yeah without locators there will not be a web page remember this point at least any one of the locator will be there in the web page will not have a concept of without locators in the web page development if you don't have id you'll have name if you have if you don't have id and name you'll have xpath without xpath there is no web page in this there is no web page related applications that we have in the market if there are no locators xpath will be there that is mandatory thing understand fine let's have a look into this so i am going to load this page again so i am going to start recording option from here or else you'll have you'll have the option from record okay just now i have started i have started recording option here it is going to start the recording process i am going to refresh the url once the url has been refreshed i am going to enter the username and then i am going to enter the password and i am going to click on sign in button so once the sign in sorry something happened yeah sign in has been done now i am going to sign off from the application sign off is also completed now let us see whether the script is being recorded or not see here the script has been recorded with the command open what it has been open what is this open means this url has been opened in the browser right 
next thing is once the url has been opened i have entered username and i have entered the username value as mercury but this mercury username and password is uh, not working due to that reason logged in failed when i have when i am recording now i am going to delete this one so don't get confusion here this is what the script is i have logged into the application and i have logged out from the application see here first step is open open what you need to open here you need to open the url now type name is equals to username so if you are observing this one name is equals to username where you have seen this one so i have shown it to you right so just right click here click place the cursor here right click here click on inspect element you have, you have seen name is equals to username here in the same way for password also name is equals to password name is equals to password and then next thing what is the target name what is the value that you have passed to that particular field is nothing but value okay next thing what is the value name what is the target name and what is the value that you have passed into the password field next thing click and wait here so when you click on login button system will take at least one second or two seconds of time to load the complete page or to log into the application right due to that reason it is displaying the command as click and wait means it is waiting for something what is that something means to log into the application once you logged into the application just you logged out from the application which is nothing but sign off that has been indicated with the name link that has been indicated with the locator link and suppose i am selecting open command here if you observe here the command will be populated with open target will be populated with hash value if i select the second command the command will be loaded with uh, displayed with type and target will be name is equals to username value is equals to mercury like that it is going to display here and next thing is as i said reference reference window or log pen window you are going to see the reference definition of the selected command i have selected open it is going to display this open related definition if i am going to select type it is going to display the type related definition if i am going to select click and wait it is going to display about click and wait like that it is going to display here next thing i am selecting this one and i am going to save the test case so i am going to save this test case as test one clicking on save button now see here in which format this test case has been saved let's see what is the format it has been saved it is being saved with html format as i said every selenium id script will be saved in html format by default will be saved in html format by default if you open this one it will display the data like this okay now i am going to close this one again i am going back to the script this is what i have designed now if i want to execute this same test case just select the case and click on run button now the script is being executed so where you are going to see that one you are going to see the log here okay let me execute it one more time so that you will get some idea so i have been selected this one and clicking on this execute button 
are you seeing the action what it is being performed yes at last you are going to see the information test case is passed test case is passed any questions guys still now can we also the same thing on the browser means you are asking here so when we are executing you are asking that will it be executed through browser and if and you want to see the browser how it is going to be executed right that is what you are asking it will not it is a background job it is a background or else we'll show it here so now i am going to clear this one is this a thing that you are asking if you are going to see this one you are going to see this one means you are asking the browser interaction what you are asking right yes 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 that is what it is it is being displayed now you are going to see that action also uh, if you want to practice it if you want to practice about the selenium ide you can use the same url so i i'll share this url this is just a public site where we can uh, use it for our practice purpose okay you can use it for your uh, practice purpose even and you just you can record the script and for that you will have all this okay what logs totally so i am not getting this uh, ram goti so any confusions or any questions okay fine so let us move to the options again means we have different different things right what we have discussed like breakpoint toggle or breakpoint or something like that so let us have some uh, brief description about that so that we will have a clear picture on that so here actions audio issues in, in between so are you getting any disturbance guys um, i okay fine actions menu if you uh, here play entire test suit play current test case or play test suit periodically so this will be a part of test suit or test case uh, anyhow we will do this later but toggle or breakpoint i want to keep toggle or breakpoint in the script at third step so let us select this third step and click on toggle or breakpoint now you are going to see this toggle or breakpoint in the execution part even so now i am going to clear this one and when i click on this execution part see here till third step only it is going to be executed after that it will not execute after that it will not execute why because we put it as a toggle or breakpoint until that particular step only it has to execute understand if you want to execute further remove this toggle or breakpoint so that it will execute understand now next option is set or clear start point i want to execute the script at this point from this point if you want to execute the script from this point let us select this second step and click on set or clear start point then then click on play button means it will try to execute 
from that step onwards if you see this one open command is not being executed open command is not being executed I am going to clear this one. Set or clear start point has been cleared. Now, execute this command only. I want to execute only second command. I don't want to execute any other command. I have selected second thing and I am clicking on execute this. Means it, it it keeps on executing that command only it will not execute other than that command so any questions guys i'm going to stop the session uh, till now what we have discussed how can we how can the test case pass without first opening the website so it is not like that andy so actually it is a public url just it is only for the practice purpose don't take it as like uh, uh, it will work perfectly just for our reference purpose we have used that one and one more thing what we have asked is already we have been opened with the url and we have selected the option called remember the url in the options menu first thing remember the base url Due to that reason, it is automatically passing the script execution. So without that, you can you can verify it one more time. And if you have any questions in that case, you can ask me. I'll explain. But there is no miracles is going to be happened in this. It's all about in our hands only how we are going to deal with this. So any other questions? Uh, yes, yes, with you. Uh, I, I'm on the uh, I'm already started preparing the content for you because uh, mm, whatever the content that is uh, listed in that particular document is having on that on daily basis but I'll give you the clear content by tomorrow session already I am preparing that one by today end of the day I'll complete that one and I'll share you that course content by tomorrow uh, this session time by this time okay so don't worry about that. I, I'll give you all the details what I'm going to cover in this course. Even if possible, I'll share the part of material like Selenium ID material. Even. So how to configure, how to install and all those things. Selenium web driver is not part of the course. No, it is. It is a. It is not completely a part of the course. Once this is going to be completed, we are going to start with Selenium with Cucumber framework. Uh, yes, we, we will talk about that, Vidya. If we have any, if we have any specific requirements, we will talk about that. So we will talk about this web driver. So. Any other things apart from like course related, like course content and all those things? Any questions in today's session? Thanks, guys.